Hey, what's up, guys? Jay Wink here um, with the review of The Flash Season 2 on um, Guerrilla Warfare. So, yes, um, since The Flash had a break this week, I felt like now I should review this episode of The Flash. And since I've been kind of off of my reviews for a few days, um, I meant to do this review last week, but um, my phone, um, which I use for my camera, ran out of um, storage. So I had to quick do some stuff, and I've just been busy and booked all the rest of the week. And, um, so yeah, I really didn't have time to work it out. So, here we go. Guerrilla Warfare. So yes, um, The Flash Season 2, the gorilla episode Guerrilla Warfare, it was a very good episode. Um, so I'll start this off by saying I'm not the biggest fan of Gorilla Grot. I really don't care for the guy. He's, well, the character, I guess. I do like the character in the show, but I just feel like a talking gorilla that can get mind control people. Okay, I know this is a comic book world, but come on, let's... It's it's kind of a, not uh, in, it's not in my realm I think in my opinion it's not something I would you know really like to see like if when that when they do the Flash movie I hope they don't do Gorilla Grodd as the main villain because you know but unless they do it differently and you know just make him kind of I don't know like maybe a fun or well no I guess maybe like a kind of a fun villain that likes to mess with people's minds and stuff like that and takes joy in that even though he is a gorilla he can think and use his brain like a human and you know but <laughs> that's not the point so yes um definitely what I uh, liked about this episode was all the characters everybody all the characters did a fantastic job the character performances were off the charts um Grant Gustin did a fantastic job as well as Caitlin Snow and Daniel Panabaker, and then Cisco, and, you know, everybody just did fantastic in this episode. Um, and I really did like seeing Grant Gustin have to deal with um, what happened, you know, in the prior episode where he lost his speed force, and he can't, you know, really use it anymore. And I really do like seeing him at his lowest low, which it is. And, you know, I forgot completely that he heals faster than a normal human, so he would get his legs back faster. But the bigger thing is, is he won't have a speed force right away, right away because he's got to work and get that back to top tier, you know, with a flash. And he's got to give it even higher to beat Zoom. So, yeah, um, I'd very much like to see this kind of, um, um, I'd really like to see, uh, well, no, um, but yeah, so the episode, you know, it was a good standard episode, I guess. It was not a great episode. I felt like it kind of was a letdown, I feel, in my opinion, to um, the last episode. Because the last episode was all about Zoom. But maybe that that's just me, guys, probably. Because I like, you know, a human character more than, like, an animal character, kind of, in my opinion. But that's not the point. But if you guys like Rod, you know, it's perfectly fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that you guys are dumb or anything. I just have a different opinion than you guys. So, um... Yeah, I really did, I did like the episode, um, even though all that Grodd wanted to do was make more Grodds, and he got Caitlyn, he, um, uh, mind-controlled Caitlyn to use her to make him want, he wanted her to create more Grodds, and that's kind of what the main point of the episode was, and once we found out that, um, in Earth 2, that, um, Harrison Wells, they also have, you know, kind of them gorillas there, it's, very cool to see like oh you know so that's where he's gonna go at the end of, you know we you know when we figure that out and it was very cool at the end of the episode we see this huge monuments of gorillas everywhere and this gorilla army and everything and when garot when when Grodd got there oof that was massive and i don't i can't imagine what's gonna happen next if like something would happen like if they would come back to earth one i think that would be pretty cool i think that i would definitely dig that episode and it would really take Grodd kind of I would like Grodd a little bit more, you know, and so, but yeah, other than that, um, um, I, there isn't really a whole lot much more to say about the episode, I guess, um, I really, I did like everything about the episode, really, I did, and, um, but yeah, I just, the Grodd thing was just eh, kind of okay for me, but yeah, I really did like seeing Harrison Wells have to, um, um, like, um, convince Cisco that, you know, he can do it and he can be like who he was, you know, pretend to be like the, um, um, reverse flash, you know, how he was back then. And it was very cool. Like, um, Eobard Thawne, I, I think he did a fantastic job, like kind of repeating that what he did. And it really shows like, wow, you know, this guy, this actor does a fantastic job. And I really do like the character, well, Tom Cavanaugh, Tom Cavanaugh as, you know, um, Harrison Wells and reverse flash and, you know, everybody he plays. But yeah, um, very good episode. What would I give it? Probably uh, 4.7 out of 5 wings. Just the Grodd storyline just wasn't cutting it for me. That's the only reason why. But other than that, guys, I really did like the episode. 
It was, just, it was just kind of a good episode for me. It wasn't great or fantastic. It was good. So, yeah, that's about it. But, yeah, definitely um, I'll be ready for next week because um, with definitely the Flash for next week is going to be awesome as well as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Gotham it looks to be and um, Star Wars Rebels. They all look to be awesome next week even though I thought Flash and um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were going to premiere that well, we're going to have their episodes this week. Um, I'm really glad that, you know, it's good that they kind of took a break, maybe, you know, but I guess, but it, um, I do have to say it's a good thing that we did get the break because, well, the Age of the Shield, that we got the Civil War trailer because of the break from Age of the Shield. So, yeah, guys, I guess, I guess we got to give and we got to take. So, I'll see you guys later. Joe Wink, winking out.